Rumors of the Sony A7S IV have all but disappeared, leaving photographers and videographers in a state of uncertainty. Once highly anticipated, the potential successor to the beloved A7S III now seems to be missing from Sony's roadmap, if it was ever there in the first place. Industry insiders and Sony enthusiasts have been tirelessly searching for any hint of an A7S IV. Yet, the usual leaks, blurry prototype images, and whispers from Sony executives are conspicuously absent. In an industry where rumors typically spread like wildfire, this unusual silence speaks volumes. The A7S series has long held a special place in Sony's lineup as a low-light specialist, with a dedicated but niche following. The A7S III's 12-megapixel sensor, optimized for video and exceptional high ISO performance, carved out a unique spot in the market. However, with the lines between photography and videography continuing to blur, it's possible Sony is reevaluating the need for such a specialized tool in their lineup. The broader camera market has changed considerably since the A7S III's release in 2020, leading to questions about whether a dedicated low-resolution camera like the A7S IV is still viable. Since the debut of the A7S III, the full-frame mirrorless camera landscape has evolved at a rapid pace. Competitors have made significant advancements in sensor technology, producing high-resolution sensors that offer impressive low-light performance and oversampled 4K video. These improvements make it less clear whether there is still a market for a low-resolution camera dedicated primarily to video work. The advancements in modern camera sensors have blurred the lines, with many photographers and videographers now expecting their cameras to excel in both stills and video. If Sony has indeed decided to forego the A7S IV, what does this mean for its loyal users? The A7S III offered a unique combination of features, including its compact full-frame body, extraordinary low-light capabilities, and video-focused design. No other model in Sony's current lineup offers the same blend of qualities, which leaves a potential gap in their offerings. Without an A7S IV on the horizon, some users may be tempted to explore options from other manufacturers or adapt their workflows to suit different tools. Sony's silence on the A7S IV is both frustrating and intriguing. Historically, the company has a reputation for innovation, often surprising the market with groundbreaking products that reshape the industry. Could Sony be working on something revolutionary that will make the A7S IV unnecessary? Or is this merely a pause, a strategic reassessment of its product lineup as it considers the rapidly shifting needs of its user base? The absence of information opens the door to endless speculation. For current A7S III owners, there is some consolation. Their cameras remain highly capable and continue to sit at the forefront of low-light performance and video quality. The absence of a successor doesn't diminish the A7S III's capabilities. If anything, it highlights just how far ahead of its time the camera was when it was first released. It remains a reliable tool for those who prioritize video work, especially in challenging lighting conditions. What's next for Sony? As we look ahead, Sony's next moves will be closely watched. Will they surprise the market with an unexpected successor that redefines the A7S series? Or will they shift their focus entirely, perhaps folding the best features of the A7S line into a new hybrid model? The A7S IV may not be on the immediate horizon, but that doesn't mean Sony is standing still. Innovation is always on the move, and both photographers and videographers would do well to keep an eye on Sony's future announcements. While the A7S IV may not be arriving anytime soon, it's clear that Sony is positioning itself for whatever comes next in the rapidly changing world of camera technology. Something equally exciting might just be around the corner, and fans of the A7S series should remain hopeful for what the future holds. As always, stay tuned for more updates and let us know your thoughts on Sony's next steps in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Sony recently unveiled its latest breakthrough in sensor technology, the 247-megapixel IMX811 AQR medium format sensor, 
designed for imaging applications. This sensor's remarkable resolution far exceeds what most current digital cameras offer, with an astonishing 247 million effective pixels. Such a high pixel count suggests the ability to capture incredibly detailed photos and images. But what exactly makes this new Sony sensor so special, and how could it potentially impact photography and other fields? Let's dive into its key features and specifications to better understand its capabilities and future implications. The most notable feature of the Sony IMX811 AQR sensor is its massive resolution. With 247 million effective pixels, it offers far more detail than even the highest-end digital cameras currently on the market. For perspective, most top-tier DSLRs and mirrorless cameras peak at around 45 to 50 megapixels. This sensor blows those numbers out of the water, making it an incredibly powerful tool for capturing fine details. From tiny textures and subtle color variations to minute elements within a scene, this sensor records everything with extraordinary precision. For photographers and visual artists, this level of detail can provide an unmatched opportunity to bring their vision to life with stunning clarity. Every intricate aspect of an image will be captured, offering a final product with lifelike realism. Whether you're shooting landscapes, portraits, or industrial scenes, the creative possibilities offered by such a high-resolution sensor are immense. While resolution is the IMX811 AQR's standout feature, it also impresses in other areas. Despite its incredible pixel count, Sony has engineered the sensor to maintain a respectable readout speed of 5.3 frames per second in full pixel mode. While this speed may not seem fast compared to other high-speed cameras, it's important to remember that processing 247 million pixels per frame is a serious engineering feat. The ability to achieve this speed without sacrificing image quality highlights the sensor's advanced design. Additionally, the IMX811 AQR sensor will be available in both color and monochrome versions, catering to a range of different needs. Photographers may prefer the color version for its incredible fidelity, while the monochrome variant could be of particular interest for scientific and industrial applications that require high contrast and sharpness. Imagine capturing landscapes with hyper-realistic detail, where every blade of grass or tiny feature in a scene is rendered with perfect clarity. Portrait photography could also benefit immensely, capturing skin textures and facial details that make each subject uniquely distinct. The creative potential of such a sensor in the hands of professional photographers is mind-blowing. The existence of a 247 megapixel sensor suggests that the future of imaging will continue to evolve toward higher resolutions and more detailed image capture. This breakthrough could inspire Sony's competitors to push their technology further, leading to new innovations and advancements across the industry. For now, the IMX811 AQR serves as an exciting glimpse into what the future of imaging might look like. While the Sony IMX811 AQR may not be suitable for every type of photography, its incredible resolution and advanced specifications make it an exciting development in the world of sensors. Whether you're a photographer, a scientist, or someone working in industrial imaging, the ability to capture such fine detail could elevate your work to new levels. What are your thoughts on this new 247 megapixel sensor? Share your views in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on the latest in photography and technology.